I see you there. Well, I literally don't know you, but I get a sense that there's someone on the other side of that screen, or you maybe clicked on this video for a reason. Maybe you're feeling a bit overwhelmed right now. Maybe the noise of life is getting just a little itsy bitsy too loud right now, and peace just feels so far out of reach look i totally understand we've all been there but i want you to know that inner peace is not something you know distant or impossible in fact you can start cultivating it right now so that's what we're going to be talking about today i want to share with you five simple uh, yet powerful ways to invite inner peace into your life at this very moment no matter where you are or what's happening around you these steps will help you ground yourself find calm and reconnect with that deep sense of peace within so without further ado let's dive into the five steps all right so let's start with something so simple but often overlook the first step is breathing i know it might sound very basic but hear me out just for a second when was the last time you truly you know took a deep breath honestly one of these you know slow full breathes that you know fills you know your lungs and calms your mind the next time you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious just pause a moment and focus on your breath inhale deeply through your nose Hold it for a few seconds and then exhale slowly throughout your mouth. Do this a few times. And what's amazing is that when you focus on your breathing, it actually naturally helps your body to relax. You see, breathing deeply singles to your brain that you are safe, that you don't need to be in the flight or fight mode. It grounds you in the present moment and gently pulls you out of the chaos of your thoughts. It's such a simple act, but it creates you know space for peace to flow in. So right now, wherever you are, just take a deep breath with me. Inhale, hold, exhale. So yeah, feel the calm beginning to settle in after you do that a few times. Next, let's talk about next. Let's talk about letting go. One of the biggest barriers to inner peace is our need to control everything. We hold so tightly trying to control, you know, outcomes, people and situations. But the truth is, Peace comes when we release the grip and accept that we can control everything in life. I know it's not easy. It's much easier said than done. Uh, and we want things to go our way. We want certainty. But the real peace is found in letting go, trusting that, you know, things will unfold as they're, you know, meant to, even if it's not exactly how we imagined or hoped. Think of it this way, when you release your need for control, you make room for something greater to take over. Uh, rather, that's faith, trust in the universe, or you know, just simply the flow of uh, life. And when you let go of that tight grip, you start to feel you know lighter, more at ease, and less burdened by all of the what ifs and uncertainties so right now i want you to just simply think about one thing in your life you've been trying to control maybe whether it's a relationship a job or a situation that's been weighing on your heart now imagine of letting go just for today trust the things will be okay even if you don't have all of the answers right now feel that sense of relief Another powerful way to cultivate inner peace is to create a daily ritual of stillness. In our busy lives, we often forget to pause or uh, just to be still. Uh, you know, we rush from you know one thing to the next. You know, constantly simulated by noise, you know, screens, and endless tasks. But peace is found in the quiet places, and you don't need hours just a few minutes of you know intentional stillness each day find a moment maybe in the morning before the day uh 
when it gets busy or at night when things start to you know went wind down uh, sit in the silence and uh, close your eyes and just tune out the noise and just be this is your time to reconnect with yourself to listen to your heart and to find the calm center within you it doesn't have to be complicated just a few moments of stillness can shift your entire mood and mindset and the more you practice this the more you will start to notice peace that follows you throughout your day no matter what's going on around you the next and fourth step, let's talk about gratitude. Gratitude is one of the most powerful ways to invite peace into your life. Why? Well, because when we focus on what we're, you know, thinking for, we shift our attention away from what's wrong, what's missing, or what's stressful. Gratitude helps us see the good even in the midst of chaos. Here's what I want you to try. The next time you're feeling overwhelmed, stop and name three things you're grateful for in that moment. They don't have to be big things. Maybe it's a warm cup of coffee you're holding, uh, the roof over your head, or the sound of the laughter nearby you. It could even be as simple as the fact that you made it through another day in paradise. When you practice gratitude, we train our minds to look you know for the good and that naturally brings a sense of peace it reminds us that no matter what challenges we face uh, there is always something to be grateful for and in that gratitude we ultimately find calm lastly one of the most transformative ways to call to inner peace is to connect with something bigger than yourself Rather, it's through prayer, uh, meditation, connecting with nature, or simply reflecting on the fastness of uh, the universe. Uh, when we step outside of ourselves and remember that we are part of something greater, we find peace. When we're caught up in our own worries and struggles, it's easy to feel isolated. Uh, but when we connect with something larger, whether it's you know God, the universe, or the natural world, uh, we remember that we are not alone, uh, that there is a greater purpose at play here, and that everything will be okay in the end. Take a moment to reflect on that connection. Uh, when you feel overwhelmed, remind yourself that you know you are part of something much bigger, that there is a plan for you, and that you are being guided through step by step in this journey of yours. That alone can immense peace, even in the most chaotic moments in your life. So my final thoughts, those are the five ways you know you can start cultivating inner peace right now remember peace isn't something you have to go out and find it's already within you it's something that just takes you know a few small shifts to invite it back into your life take a deep breath uh let go of the control you know crave out moments of stillness practice gratitude and connect with something bigger than yourself the more you embrace these practices, the more peace will become a natural part of your everyday life. Thank you so much and God bless you for taking a few moments out of your day to check out this video. I pray that these tips hopefully help you feel calmer and more you know, centered. Uh, if this video hopefully spoke to you today, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you want to continue the conversation, that's what the comments are for. Feel free to leave any feedback, recommendation, advice, or any topics you would love for me to tackle on a future video. I love to listen, hear, and respond. Remember, my friend, peace is possible and you deserve it that being said i'm adam representing team sos take care god bless you in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night i'm signing off peace